today I'm going to make a really neat dish with some ground turkey, with some spaghetti squash, and turn it into a meal. So what I've done over here is I took a whole spaghetti squash, this is hot, and I cut it in half and then I turned it over I put it in a baking dish, put some water in the baking dish, baked it in my oven at 400 degrees for one hour, upside down. I've, I've had it out of the oven for maybe 10-15 minutes, it's still quite hot. And we are going to take that out of the shell, but before we do that, I'm going to take my turkey meat, we're going to come over here to the stove, and I've had my skillet on, I'm going to put a little bit of my olive oil, and I'm going to brown, I bought a pound of ground beef, I'm sorry, <laughs> ground turkey, and we cannot put that up a notch, and we're going to just start to brown our ground turkey, because what we're going to do is we are going to turn this into a quick pasta sauce that we can make to put on the inside shell of our spaghetti squash. And what I like about spaghetti squash, it's so good for you. And you just flake it off like this. You just take your fork and just go like that. Look how nice that's coming off. Get that little floating seed out of there. I did take the seeds out before I baked it. You scrape them out with a spoon and then you bake it and look at that. Look at how that looks like spaghetti. And I'll tell you what, it's a really nice dinner in place of pasta. You don't get the carbs, you get the nice sweetness of the spaghetti squash. And we're going to make a little pasta sauce just using some crushed tomatoes over here. We're going to put a few herbs in our ground turkey. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be our dish. So I'm trying very, very carefully not to dig a hole in the bottom of my squash because we're going to use these as a bowl tonight for our dinner. There, that's a lot of squash just coming out of one half of a spaghetti squash. And so over here we've got our turkey, give it up a little notch, browning. And to this I'm going to add a few herbs, nothing fancy, just the usual basil, a little bit of oregano. I like oregano. I think it adds a nice dimension uh, of a flavor, another flavor. Is it another dimension of flavor than just sticking with basil? So I'm going to put some basil, oregano, and you know what? Because I'm doing such shortcuts, I'm going to even throw in some onion powder. I'm not even taking the time, folks, to cut up onion. I found a really nice brand of onion powder. Just throw it in there. Oh, that smells wonderful. It smells like I just spent five or seven minutes cutting up an onion, but without the tears. How about that? And then we're going to throw in some crushed basil. Oh, that smells lovely. And I use about half the amount of oregano to one part of basil. And that's the ratio I like. That is smelling like a wonderful Italian meatball. But the good news is we're cooking with turkey and not ground beef. And you know what? Chicken every night, it gets kind of boring. It's good for us, but you know, once in a while, try buying a pound of ground turkey. There. Oh, that smells lovely. And I've got it right up on high because in a short while, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in, I'm going to throw in actually just a tiny bit more basil. There. I love the smell of basil. If you want to go all out, and buy the fresh by all means. If you even want to put a little bit of maybe tarragon, fresh tarragon in here, you could do that too. That would give it a little 
um, kind of a sweet taste, a little different taste. And then I'm going to add in my can of crushed tomatoes because I've got my meat all nicely brown. You can see that I've got no red in my meat. It's all gone. Okay, and now I'm just going to put in the whole can because this is going to make a healthy amount of sauce. And wait till you see what we do with it. Because this is just the beginning. So we are going to let this simmer. I'm going to cover it up for 20 minutes. And then we will come back and see how we put the rest of the meal together for you. Alright, our sauce that we made with a pound of ground turkey has simmered, covered for 20 minutes. And I already made one for you and I'm going to show you what I did. I'm just going to add about three scoops, yes ma'am, of our turkey meat sauce. Two, this is one of the spaghetti squash. And I'm just going to mix it together. And uh, in one spaghetti, one half of a spaghetti squash, at least the way I cut it out, equaled about a cup and a half. So you figure a cup of spaghetti squash is only 42 calories. If you were to eat pasta, a cup of pasta, you'd be eating 221 calories. Now this is about a cup and a half of our pasta, which is our spaghetti squash, mixed with our meat sauce. And I'm going to just dump it right back into our bowls. Do you remember doing um, twice baked potatoes? You'd scoop everything out and then you'd season it all up. Well, this is kind of the same idea, only we're doing it with spaghetti squash. And this is such a good meal for you. I put Whoops, I put a half a teaspoon of salt in my meat mixture and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And that's because I usually just under salt because we don't need a ton of it. And the Pecorino Romano, if you like a grated cheese, is very high in sodium. So if we want to live healthy, we want to kind of watch our sodium. Also, if you're diabetic, this is the perfect meal you can eat because there is so much water in a squa in the squash and water is so good for your body we're composed of so much water and we need to get in water none of us drink enough so if you get it through a vegetable it's very high in water it's a perfect perfect food um, like I said for a diabetic because you're not getting all the carbs that you would if you had pasta uh, a cup of pasta was like 42 carbohydrates that is about that's over three carb exchanges. Whereas if you eat a cup of your um, spaghetti squash, that's one vegetable exchange. So indulge. And then what I did is I got a light Swiss cheese. You can use provolone, you can use uh, mozzarella. Put it on top, stick it in your microwave, and just nuke it. And there you have a perfect meal for any night of the week. Mm, that's hot. Look at that steam coming up. Oh, and you know what? When I re first opened up a spaghetti squash, the first time in my life, it was exciting to just see the threads come out like spaghetti. I remember the kids thinking, ooh, it's magic. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Just enough salt. It's got a nice little crunch to it, chewy with the cheese. Go ahead on my website and get this recipe and make it. It's so quick and simple. Go on my memorablefooddishes.com and enjoy a really good meal. Ciao. Mm -hmm.